All right. So let's see. We have a bunch of like 10 year old kids that are out playing baseball all day long. One of them is brand new to the group. He comes running in. He's so excited. He gets to meet new friends. They're all playing a ball game. Boom, cranks one out over the over the fence, gets eaten by this gigantic dog, right? They call him the great Bambino, like he's gotta go get this, he's gotta go get the ball back. Because they ran out of balls, right? So he grabbed this ball from his uncle's house. Maybe his dad, I don't really know. Doesn't matter. Stepdad, was his stepdad? Stepdad, he grabbed it from the stepdad. Grabbed it out of the display case, grabbed this fucking ball out. Went out, played some baseball with it, cranked this bad boy right over the fence. As it goes over the fence, giant dog comes up, eats this ball right out of the air. So these kids, they don't want to get in trouble, just like all of us don't want to. So you know what they do? They go and they devise a plan. They take, they get their Tinker Toys, they get Lincoln Logs, everything they've got. They take these things yeah, and they try and s'mores. calm down, calm down. We'll get there. We'll get there, buddy. This is an exciting story that we got to tell to everybody. All right. So they get these Lincoln Logs, they get these Tinker Toys, and they start building this giant contraption. They they want to make this basically a catapult. They're gonna sneak underneath the yard because this dog on the other side of this place, it is so violent. It is so mean. It is made to destroy people's faces. It has made it end their lives. They don't want to go anywhere near it. So they build this thing. They run it through the yard. They get so close, they get right up in there. They take that pooper scooper of a shovel they got at the end of it. They get so close to fucking pop it off and boom, oh, they launch it. There it goes, the ball is flying. Boom, big dog, nails it again, takes it away, destroys their contraption, they are heartbroken. Their day is done. They don't know what else to do. So it ends by the great Bambino, the big cheese. Now this little kid, he's been called this the entire movie. He doesn't know what any of this means, Babe Ruth. That's what's written on that ball. He stole a Babe Ruth autograph ball out of that cabinet so he could go play some baseball. Just because he wanted to make some friends. He felt lonely in the world. He wanted just he just wanted to feel accepted. He was new in the world. But either way, they went and played the ball. He realized the best way to live life, own your responsibilities. He knocked it over the fence. All he had to do was go get that ball. He just had to go ask the guy. The guy was blind. He was, that's all he was. Everybody thought he was just a mean old man with a big ass dog. Everybody was afraid of him. All he had to do, he finally got up the courage to do what was right. He walked right up to that fucking guy. Said, look, I'm sorry. This is it. Took it, told the guy everything that happened. The guy walked him and said, here, you had a Babe Ruth ball, my dog destroyed it. Here's one signed by the entire team. Thank you for being honest. That's the moral of the fucking movie. Be honest. That's it. Good things will happen. Just be honest. Be happy with your life. Have a good day. Done.